One of the goals of the three-course model is to highlight the synergy between different sciences. We want the earth science phenomena to motivate students and give the physics content more real-world relevance. At the same time, understanding physics gives students deeper insight into the processes that shape the earth and it equips them for overcoming some of the environmental problems that face our planet. While there are earth and space science aspects of every instructional segment in this course, energy resources, including clean and renewable energy, are a major theme for the course. The course begins the way that many physics courses do, analyzing motion, Newton's laws, and momentum during collisions. But collisions can be with cars, and they can also be with mountainsides, like this one. Every physical process on Earth is governed by the same Newton's laws as are traditionally talked about in a physics course. So introducing plate motions, continental collisions, those all provide a rich context for calculating velocities and visualizing the effects of forces. The next chapter groups together electromagnetism and gravity because they're both forces that act at a distance and have mathematical similarities. Students apply their mathematical models of gravity to understanding the motion of planets and satellites. They apply their understanding of electromagnetism to understanding electric motors and generators, and then obtain information about the different components of a power plant that convert energy resources into electricity. Here, they're going to evaluate the costs and benefits of different energy technologies, including fossil fuels and clean and renewable energy, such as wind and hydropower. Students then expand to a discussion of nuclear power, which motivates the study of nuclear processes. An understanding of what's going on at the subatomic level is going to help students understand the possible benefits and hazards of nuclear power, and which is of course one possible direction for a clean energy future. In facing the problems that are posed by nuclear waste from power plants, students have to develop a model of decay processes. But decay also has a positive side that allows atoms to act as historians of the geologic world. Students are going to explore fusion uh, in more detail when they investigate stars later in the course. Students use their models of radioactive decay to enhance their ability to analyze and interpret radiometric age dating of planetary bodies, past life, and geologic events. They can recognize patterns in the ages of continents and the seafloor, and those prompt questions about the history of our own planet and the forces that shape it. Some of these data provide the most compelling evidence that tectonic plates at the surface of the Earth are constantly moving. Earthquakes are another piece of evidence that plates are moving, and the way that earthquake waves travel through the Earth allows us to probe the composition of the deep interior and figure out what forces are driving plate motion. While a traditional physics course often introduces waves on a string, Earthquake waves traveling through the Earth are an engaging and very relevant way to introduce waves to California students. Students can use recordings of earthquake motion to describe wave amplitude, frequency, and wavelength. They can calculate propagation speeds and examine how waves interact with matter. Mastery of earthquake waves transitioned into the study of electromagnetic waves. Students investigate the nature of light as both a wave and a particle and they obtain information about how electromagnetic waves interact with matter. In each case, the abstract concepts are motivated by applications to technology in students' lives. The photoelectric effect links back to the unit on clean energy as students develop models of how solar cells work. Students explain how the properties of waves enable modern digital communication as well. They also evaluate claims about potential health hazards from different types of electromagnetic radiation, everything from x-rays to cell phones. Turning their attention upwards to the sky, students learn to analyze data from the electromagnetic spectrum to understand the processes going on in stars. They trace the flow of energy from sun's core outward, which means they have to extend their model of nuclear processes to include fusion, and use it to develop a model for the life cycle of stars they learn to support these models using evidence from the spectra of light. That same type of evidence from the electromagnetic spectrum also allows students to develop models of the origin of the universe. 
they can now explain how structures in our universe, including our own planet and solar system, are all shaped by a balance between gravitational forces that they studied earlier and the overall motion and expansion of the universe. Stepping back and looking at the whole course again, we see a balance between fundamental physical principles and engaging Earth science phenomenon. Our vision is that these real-world applications will make the physical principles more tangible and motivate students to ask questions about both the Earth science processes and the physical science mechanisms. In the end, they're better equipped to understand and address many of the hazards, both natural and human-induced, that society may face in the future.